Hello there, what is going on guys? I am the C-H-A-L-L and welcome back to another video. Now today, we're going to be talking about the next five years for Six Flags Magic Mountain and this video is a great one, ladies and gentlemen. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell for more goal-scoring football content slam dunking basketball content and thrill riding theme park content make sure you share the channel with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you get your questions in for our q a session to celebrate 2000 subscribers i know we took a dent uh when we changed the channel around but we're gonna get that subscriber list back up again and for now guys let's get into another video so before we take a look at the next five years of six five magic mountain we have to go back in time to the next uh, to the last 10 years so let's have a look at the last 10 years of six flags magic mountain starting off with 2010 now 2010 at the park was a big year um not really big as in attractions but it became a improvement year and also a follow-up year for 2011 it became a, a preparation year almost now we were expecting the mr six dance coaster uh relocated from new orleans to open in that year however it was delayed with a new theme and so in 2011 we got three brand new coasters we got green lantern first flight which is the first of its kind in the u.s so it was an intamin zack spin coaster um we also got Superman Escape from Krypton, which was the refurbishment of the original Superman coaster, and also Roadrunner Express, the kids coaster from New Orleans uh, for the Looney Tunes area. Now, in 2012, they upped the thrills again on Superman Escape from Krypton's structure by adding Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, which is a brand new drop ride. And in 2013, they upped the thrills again with not one, but two forward launches and an unprecedented third backwards launch. That is right, you only live once, it's full throttle. In 2014, they went low on the thrills, but up in the stakes were riding Colossus and Batman the Ride backwards. They also made the park 365 days a year, and they also introduced Bonsai Pipelines to the Hurricane Harbor Water Park. Now, in 2015, was the year they opened Twisted Colossus, the Rocky Mountain construction conversion, hybrid conversion of the Colossus wooden roller coaster. And in 2016, they continued their trend of reimagining and reconfigurating old coasters. The revolution became the new revolution with brand new trains, a tunnel, and also a repaint as well. Now, in 2017, the park introduced the Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dart Ride. In 2018, they introduced the world's tallest pendulum ride in Crazanity as a refurbishment of their boardwalk section. In 2019, that was the original opening date for their next coaster, scheduled to be their 20th coaster, uh, West Coast Races, which is their quadruple launch premier rides launch coaster. Uh, but, of course, with the removal of Green Lantern First Flight, set to be relocated to La Ronde for 2020, or 2021 as v pair uh, that coaster count went down again however west coast races opened in 2020 instead and they're also planning seasonal stuff for the underground section for fright fest and holiday in the park so that my friends was the last 10 years of six five magic mountain and as you could probably guess very very coaster heavy so you know, these next five years that I'm going to predict are not very heavily on coasters. Uh, however, it's going to have a good mix in there. So there's a little bit of a teaser for my five-year predictions. But it's very, very coaster heavy that last ten years. You look at the kids' coasters, the thrill coasters, and the other attractions combined. It's a very thrill part year. Uh, now, whether this next five years is going to be any different, we don't know. However, I'm going to do my best to predict the next five years for Six Flags Magic Mountain. So, let's start off with... 2021 and 2021 is a very 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 easy one 2021 is the year of the raptor that is right the green lantern first flight site and also the tidal wave site will be transformed into an extended rocky mountain construction single rail coaster layout uh, either themed to the joker or martian manhunter in my opinion uh, in that dc universe section it's an rmc single rail it's a jersey devil clone pretty much uh, that's going into six five magic mountain we knew about the plans we saw the plans for it officially on the california permission board uh, ready for 2021 
and I do personally believe that Six Flags Magic Mountain is going to get this Raptor coaster. So it's another coaster for Magic Mountain, and this will officially, um, you know, take the park to 20 coasters. Moving in then to 2022, and I think they're going to go along the family thrill route. Now, this is because I think that Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth is a, another part of the DC Universe area refurbishment. I think they're going to replace Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth, and I think they're going to bring in a Zamperla Endeavor flat ride. Now, whether that's keeping the Wonder Woman theme, or are they going to bring in... Uh, the Supergirl Skyflyer theme like they do with St. Louis and New England with their Endeavour flat rides, I don't know. However, a Zamperla Endeavour could be the best fit for the family thrill market in terms of a next-gen enterprise attraction. And I think that that would really fit the Lasso of Truth site. So I think a Zamperla Endeavour theme to either Supergirl or Wonder Woman. Moving in then to 2023, and 2023, again, is an easy one for me. I think they're going to go with the family rides. Now, they could do some other improvements around the park. Maybe do another backwards ride on one of the coasters. Uh, maybe do Viper backwards. That'd be great. Uh, or... You know, just do some general improvements, some seasonal upgrades. But I think the main thing for 2023 is the Bugs Bunny world becoming Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Now, whether that means uh, a couple of new family attractions in there to make it look new and then repaint the old attractions currently in there and, of course, change the sign around to become Bugs Bunny Boomtown, that could be the way forward in my case. So I think that bringing in the Bugs Bunny Boomtown, the popular Bugs Bunny Boomtown, into Bugs Bunny world would be the perfect fit for families and it would be a real uh, upgrade to that area because that upgrade hasn't really seen that area hasn't seen a new you know attraction in my opinion since speedy gonzalez hot rod races in 2014 so you know we are looking here at you know a bugs bunny world upgrade in my opinion Moving in then to 2024, and this will have been 10 years since the last Hurricane Harbor attraction. So I think what you can, so you can see on your screen there, uh, in yellow, uh, one of the originating slide complexes, I think that will be removed towards the back end of 2023, and that will be replaced. They could use the, the green patch just above it. They could use the entrance plaza and do some supports around there or on the green land, the thin green path that's winding around like a snake uh, and they could use all the space available to build a tsunami surge water coaster or or they could use that site to build one of those waterside ferris wheel attractions now we've seen that one is there's there is one coming i think either this year or next year uh in in europe however uh, in fact, no, it's not Europe, it's uh, Mount Olympus, sorry, in the States. Uh, we've got one coming to Mount Olympus. So I would like to see one of these at Six Flags because I think it's a perfect Six Flags water attraction. And I think that Magic Mountain will be the first to get one because they love the thrill market. And I think mixing thrill with water would be fantastic. Uh, so I think I could see either Tsunami Series water coaster or the first Six Flags uh, acquisition of these ferris wheel water slides uh in that side complex site now this brings us over to 2025 and as you can already see viper is in the marking now i said in 2023 viper backwards and that is because i think we could see 2023 into 2024 the last year of the viper and i think we're going to see construction for 2025 and i think we're going to see either either a b&m dive coaster or an SNS Axis coaster. Now, whether that means X2 could be on the chopping block next, I don't know. I think that an Axis coaster is very, very different to the fourth dimension coasters, so I think that X2 won't be in trouble after this. However, I think the most likely one here will be a B&M dive. Now, I know some of you are thinking, what about a T-Rex coaster? What about a T-Rex coaster? <gasps> well, Trust me, a T-Rex coaster will not be coming to the park, in my opinion, for a long, long time. The, 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 the T-Rex has... It's not completely stopped the development of the T-Rex, but they're holding off on the T-Rex before selling the Raptor... Uh, after, until this literally, you know, pushed the Raptor concept as far as it can go. So, you know, I'm not expecting a T-Rex at this park, unfortunately. However, I do think we are going to see a B&M dive coaster on the Viper site. I mean, they've got some great potential to use the site to its advantage. Uh, they've got some great potential to uh, use the whole surrounding area to its advantage and make it look all lovely and immortal uh so i think they've got real potential with that there so 
there we go. So that is my five-year prediction for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Big shout out to Thomas Rosie Fan 2 for that video suggestion. If you've got any other video suggestions, comment them down below. And uh, yeah, those are my five-year predictions. So we've got a BM and Dive Coast in 2025. We've got a Hurricane Harbor attraction, either a Tsunami Surge or a Ferris Wheel Water Cycle com Complex in 2024, uh, which is 10 years since the last Hurricane Harbor edition. 2023. Bugs Bunny World turns into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. Maybe a couple of new family attractions to cement the re theme and things like that. 2022, uh, we've got this fantastic looking Zampella Endeavor theme to either Wonder Woman or Supergirl, uh, replacing the Lasso of Truth. Uh, carnival type ride in DC Universe as a second phase to Toy 21 which is of course the Raptor the Jersey Devil type Raptor coaster uh, going into the DC Universe area theme to in my opinion either Joker or Martian Manhunter I think they could go along with the Martian Manhunter theme but I think the most likely theme here could be the Joker Chaos Coaster uh, because they like to do Joker themes and like to use the Chaos Coaster uh, name so I think that not just calling it the Joker would be a bit plain I think calling it the Joker chaos coaster I think that would be really good in my opinion I think that's better than just plain old the Joker uh, so there we go so that is my five-year prediction for six five magic mountain we've got plenty more content from football basketball and the theme park industry to come but for now guys thank you very very much please like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is coach well I know it's a coach child then my god I'm the C H A L L goodbye